And that's Ratzenberger. That's the Ratzenberger Toyota out, it looks like, engine trouble. So, that's a great shame for Roland Ratzenberger and uh, very disappointing for Toyota. They led the race from the start, but that car is out and it looked uh, like terminal engine problems there. Whoops, and somebody else has a tire blow on the main straight. This time it's Hasemi, the Japanese, and the works this end. Whoops, my goodness me, I didn't believe this. It's a repeat of Wada's accident, although this time, thankfully, it doesn't catch fire. But the car, and he's still in it, Hasemi, but he's moving about. It looks like he's going to be okay. You can see Hasemi moving about in the car there, trying to unstrap himself, gather his thoughts. He's obviously had a pretty severe bang on the head. And uh, the marshals are having to lift Hasemi from the wreckage of the Nissan and it looked very, very much indeed as if the left front tyre blew. We may see that again, but uh, looking quickly at it there, it looked like the left front blew as he came flat out down the main straight. Hasemi's all right, he's, well, he's very shaken up and shocked and probably pretty badly bruised, but uh, somehow or other he's managed to escape virtually unhurt. Let's look at it again as Hasemi brings the Nissan down the main straight and yes it looks very much like a left front tyre blowing or if it wasn't that it was suspension but anyway something major went at the left front. He gets the car on the grass sideways back onto the track. Sakia following must have given him a nasty fright too. The air gets underneath the car and yet again it starts to behave like an aircraft. This is terrifying when you get air underneath these flat bottomed racing cars they just take off like an aircraft down onto its roof and Hasemi skims right to the end of the road there through the gravel trap and in fact I think he goes clean over the top of the wreckage of Wada's car, yes he does. My goodness me that really is an <laughs> how he survived that, well he's a very lucky man, you can see he got a nasty bang on the head there as he was thrown backwards in the cockpit but at least the car landed the right way up and the medical crew take Hasemi away to be checked over 